I'm Andy Black, and I'm the general manager of Reno Rendering Company. What we do at Reno Rendering is we recycle oils and animal byproducts. It's an industry that's been around for a long, long time. The truck we have behind us here is a pumper truck. Uh, these pumper trucks go around uh, all northern Nevada, pump out grease interceptors. Um, a grease interceptor captures all the fats, oils, and waste from a restaurant, uh, from their kitchens. Um, our pumper trucks will pump all those fats and oils that are captured in a grease interceptor um, and gives us the ability to haul it back to our processing plant where we can process all those fats and oils and recycle them. Again, it's nothing new, but what's nice is there's some new uh, technologies that, that help us in, in, in the recycling uh, endeavor. There's animal byproducts recycling, which is, uh, we, be, we deal with dead stock and fat and bone, uh, everything that um, would otherwise be thrown away, we, we take and we recycle. Uh, the end product with the animal byproduct side of things is, uh, is, is bone meal, and it goes into pet foods, fertilizers, uh, and then oils, uh, we recycle oil. So use cooking oil at restaurants, casinos, and whatnot. We recycle that, and that typically goes into biodiesel plants uh, for fuel. The other type of oil, uh, grease, is brown grease, and um, that's pretty um, novel in that we, we take the grease interceptor waste, the, the trap waste, at restaurants. Uh, we take that and recycle it and, and again it typically goes into biodiesel plants. Uh, we're very novel in that because uh, if it wasn't for us doing this, uh, it would, it would uh, tax, our, tax our sewer system. So Flatweg, uh, the centrifuge we use to separate the brown grease from the from the uh, grease interceptor waste, it's uh, of, of high quality and, and uh, maintained properly. It's going to last years and years, which we have a great maintenance program and we can use other maintenance companies to do the maintenance, but we chose to stay with Flatwig on the maintenance and uh, it's worked out nicely. Um, we've, we've been able to uh, extend the life of, of the time when it's being, you know, when we're tearing it apart and doing a full tune up. Um, and Flatwig has been instrumental in helping us do that. Without that machine, it'd be difficult to separate that, the brown grease from the grease interceptor waste. And um, again, that's very novel, even in our industry. We usually run the machine for approximately either four to six hours a day. Uh, and what we do there is just separate the materials. We run the material through there, and we only get two byproducts that come out of it. We get the solids, which is your, um, tailings and we also get the uh, the oil. It makes it easier for us to process since that process has been advanced to the point where when we pass it through the skimmer it's easier for us to separate it. Yeah actually that separation uh, the impeller is actually very good for us because it allows us to easily adjust it. Uh, sometimes uh, depending on the material that comes through or whatever's in the tank uh, we actually have to adjust it a little bit. Uh, sometimes the material, it, it depends on the material, it depends on the heat and everything, but the impeller makes it easier for us to adjust it. So it allows us to actually select our own grade of oil that we want to generate. Obviously, when we try to generate the cleanest oil, we're going to have the more byproducts. But for us, just to be with it, it helps us just adjust it on the fly, and it's really easy to use, and it's easy for us to actually adjust it. But what's nice about the Flatwig is it's a full circle company, meaning that you know, they're not just going to sell a product and be done. They're, they're, you know, along for the long haul and we're a customer, um, you know, for life type of thing.